snow plows keep roads open during winter storms, but they're clumsy and can be dangerous. Plows throw snow every which way, blocking the vision of the driver as well as nearby motorists. Accidents involving snow plows are common, and the force of the snow against the plow blade can make controlling the truck difficult. Public agencies spend millions of dollars on snow removal that's not safe or efficient. But it doesn't have to be this way. New plow designs developed under the Strategic Highway Research Program can prevent snow from being thrown onto the windshield of the truck or nearby vehicles. These new designs make it easier for the plow driver to control the truck, and they're more efficient than current plows, allowing snow to be cleared faster and at a lower cost. Because of Sharp's research, there may soon be plows like this one, plows of the future. Three quarters of the snow plows operated by state DOTs, municipalities, and airports incorporate reversible nose plows. Many of them are inefficient, provide poor cast performance, and can create visibility problems. Plowed snow blows into the windshield of the plow truck and often causes snow to blow into the windshields of passing and trailing motorists. Surveys of state highway agencies have found snow and ice control operations account for the largest percentage of accidents involving maintenance operations. In addition, it's difficult to control cast distance, and strong lateral forces on plows adversely affect control of the vehicle and therefore the safety of its driver. So Sharp examined various parts of the plow for possible improvements. They looked at the mold board. They investigated the snow and ice blade, and they tried a new snow scoop. Sharp studied the mold board using computer simulation, water flow experiments, and field testing. Proper trajectory of snow on the mold board is important to minimize rehandling and blow by. Snow that rolls around in front is rehandled and reduces the plow's efficiency. Snow that the mold board can't contain blows in the face of the operator or other drivers. Using this information, they began to design an improved plow. The improved design increases the board's height. The lower flat portion tilts back 10 degrees from vertical, and the upper mold board has a semicircular section. All of the experimental plows tested had a polymer surface, which improved the flow of snow on the mold board. Their cast performance was better than steel surfaces. Traditional plows have their blades perpendicular to the road. Paint marks on the snow show the effect of this plow design. Observe the results as the blade approaches the marks. Perpendicular blades create a compression zone in the snow. As the snow strikes the blade, it compacts and then churns dramatically. The marks are lost in the turbulence. The higher the velocity, the higher the energy required because of this compaction and churning. Experience has taught us that blades oriented at 90 degrees to the road remove compacted snow and ice the best. On the other hand, laboratory and field tests reveal that a snowplow blade inclined 50 degrees to the road surface is much more efficient. To deal with this conflict, the research team developed a retrofittable snow scoop. It fits in front of the plow blade and improves snow removal efficiency. And it allows the current near vertical blade to continue to remove compacted snow and ice. Using a snow scoop, they found that the plow needed less power and it experienced lower side forces, meaning increased stability and control. As shown here, when moving from an area of no snow to plowing snow, there is no loss of steering control of the truck and the paint marks flow smoothly up the mold board. Field tests confirmed laboratory predictions. There was a 20% savings in energy required to plow snow. When they used the scoop, there was a significant decrease in lateral plow forces. The scoop clearly provided the driver with improved steering control. The scoop reduced blow-by, thus greatly enhancing visibility and reducing the chance of a clogged radiator. They also found that with the snow scoop on, the plow cast snow further than without it. In short, with the scoop and the redesigned mold board, 
you'll need less force to move snow. That means reduced fuel costs and cleaner air. Plus, you'll have improved plow control. Another big advantage of the scoop is that it's inexpensive and you can retrofit it easily to most existing plows. Kit materials cost approximately $600 each. Initial installation takes about eight labor hours, but replacement of the scoop panels takes less than one hour. Together, these breakthroughs add up to a vastly improved snow plow. Plans for the snow scoop are available now from Sharp. Keep your eyes open for commercially available versions of both the scoop and the plow. In this presentation, we've covered only some of the snow plow innovations recommended by Sharp. Here's a brief summary of all of them. Use scoops angled approximately 50 degrees to the road surface. Use a tall mold board with a half cylinder shape at the top, surfaced with a polymer based material such as ultra high molecular weight polyethylene for low surface friction. Use a tripping edge rather than a full tripping mold board. There is better control of the vehicle. Researchers tested hinges as close as possible to a vertical location above the cutting edge. They also used air springs to provide the tripping force. Truck air can provide adjustable force, and in the event of failure, there is no debris on the road. And keep your plow frame short so that the plow will be closer to the truck. It allows better vehicle control, better operator visibility, and reduced stress on the front axle. Soon, plows like this one, with a blade that throws snow up in your face, will be antiques. They'll be replaced by plows like this one, that direct snow away from the windshield and other drivers. Plows that are safer and more efficient. Plows of the future. For more information on these advances in snow plowing technology, contact FHWA at the number on your screen.